right, we want to look at a chi-square goodness of fit example. And this example is kind of in your book. I changed it a little bit. It said basically they went out and they surveyed a bunch of, a bunch of women entrepreneurs and they stated their definition of success as 39% happiness, 12% sales profit, 18% helping others, 31% achievement challenge. She, nobody cares about it. Let's put tacos. We're in San Antonio. Tacos, right? So I changed it to tacos. So basically, this is what they told us. What we want to do is look and see if the male entrepreneurs felt the same way. So we went out and we got a random sample of men, which is this right here. Okay. So in other words, 42 said happiness. Look at there, 63 tacos. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, so to be able to do this chi-square test, what I need is to figure out the expected, okay? So, and um, there's Mickey is stretching on my desk, and she's in my way. Mickey, move. Shh, shh, shh. Move, go. Shh. No, hey, this way. This way. This way. This way. She gets crazy. <laughs> All right, uh, there, that was our intermission, so you may now go back to your seats. Okay, so to be able to find this um, expected here, the frequency expected, I would actually take my total. So I need to get a total. I need to sum how many dudes that I actually surveyed. So 227. And so what I would expect if this matches the women would be the 39% out of this total. And I'm going to absolute reference that because I'm going to copy it. So that's what I would expect if I think the percentages are about the same. All right. So it says about 88.5. So that do not look too good, huh? And so I copy this straight down and I can kind of look and see, wow, the sales profit. So in other words, sales profit seems to be what, um, you know, in, in this case, this survey, what the men actually preferred. So now what I want to do is, like everything with hypothesis testing, all these tests that we do, is I want to test my test statistic, which is a chi-square, versus my critical value, and we're going to do it with an alpha of 0 0.05. So this is the actual formula. So it says take, so let's, let's get it started. Take the actual what we observed minus what we would expect, square it, and then divide by what we would expect. So that's just the first one. And this sum means to, we're going to sum all of these. Okay, so the observed minus the expected squared divided by the expected. I take this right here and I drag that straight down. And then it says to sum these values. And so this is my test statistic that I would compare with my critical value. Well, what's my critical value? I don't know. So you either have to go to a chi-square table, okay, and you look up three degrees of freedom, okay? So the number of categories, four minus one. So you'd look up three degrees of freedom, or there's actually a, there's a formula for that in Excel. It's this chi-square inverse right, the right-hand side. So it says the probability to the right of it. I want to be my alpha, my degrees of freedom. I didn't put this in a cell, so I'm just going to put three. Okay, so, and you ought to look um, at a chi-square table as well to see you'll get the same answer, and I get this 7.8. So in other words, what this is saying, my cutoff value is right here, 7.81. And this value is way, it's way, way, it's, it's, it's a long, it ain't even close. It ain't even near this value. So what do we do? Did I fall in that rejection? You're darn sure right. And apparently the, the tacos were the whole problem. So in this case, I would certainly say that um, it doesn't appear definitely off of this one survey that the men uh, felt the same way based off of these definitions of what makes them happy. And that's high school.